Adam Fletcher Brown, another artist video blog at kicks96country.com. Our guest today, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, please welcome Tyler Barham. Tyler, how are you? Good, how about you, man? Good to see you. Now, Tyler, this is a, this is kind of a historic moment for me because in all the years that I've been doing these artist video blogs, I've never had to have a cheat sheet. <laughs> Gosh. Now, the reason that I've got this cheat sheet is we're going to get into this. You have done quite well for yourself. Uh, with like virally internet yeah, YouTube it's, it's and uh, been really good and things like that you've actually built um, the beginning of your career uh, online and that is uh, since so much in music so much in entertainment uh, we're seeing so much, uh, a great move there like Justin Bieber was born of YouTube yep. you know, and, and things like that so we're, we're seeing this happening more and more often so you're here you are in the front end of that yep. well let's learn a little bit more about Tyler Barr I mean we'll uh, we'll get we'll uh, let you uh, sing your song 17 and young okay Hair Force in just a little while but uh, your single 17 and young right here on on this album which is by the way available on itunes that's right um you are actually from montana i'm from montana so what part of montana uh i was born in bozeman and i actually am from uh i live in missoula right now missoula montana and so kind of a long ways off from from tennessee and and here you know so mm -hmm. so well coming from missoula missoula did i say that right yep missoula montana uh, did you pick up music uh, at a very, very early age, or is this something new? Uh, I started singing when I was nine, um, and uh, just you know had a passion for it. I, I entered into a lot of local competitions and, and stuff like that, um, and just you know loved singing just because. And uh, yeah, like you, you know, YouTube has always been my foundation and where it all started for me. Um, I started posting covers on YouTube of uh, my favorite country songs, just me. Being a goofball, sitting in front of a computer screen and singing to karaoke tracks. And you have, you've had your um, your covers uh, pretty much like retweeted by Blake Shelton, yeah. Luke Bryan, uh, Lady Annabellum. I think even featured you in one of their Wednesday webisodes. Yeah, it's been um, it's been crazy. So, uh, did did you expect all of this to happen? No. I mean, was this intentional? Did you say this is how I'm going to market myself and make myself, or did this? just sort of like hit you in the face it hit me in the face really I mean uh, you know when I started YouTube I just hit it at the right time and got really lucky and and I never looked at it like all right I'm gonna post you know covers and then it'll lead to original songs and then people tweet my covers and all that stuff it just kind of was like I'm just gonna sing some songs and get some feedback from people and I started getting more and more followers and requests and just kept making videos absolutely well, let's take a look at some of these stats all right um, okay. first of all the industry has named the uh, Country Music Association. Who knew to watch in 2013? Mm -hmm. Well, that's obvious with uh, YouTube stats like 8 million YouTube views and over 35,000 online fans. Um, two videos, just two videos with over 200,000 views, okay? 13 with over 100,000. Um, you have had basically, uh, given those, those numbers, 18,500 views in the last week. Yeah, it's been... I don't, think, I don't think I've had that many in all of our whole video <laughs> blog series. We haven't, I don't even think we've reached that number. We've been doing this for like three years. Yeah. So what do you attribute the popularity of your music and your online persona with? Do you have an idea? I, I have no idea. I mean, it just, it, you know, it, I guess people just, you know, like watching my videos and, and enjoy listening. I mean, you know, it's just been... It's been really unexpected, honestly. I mean, I did I didn't expect it at all. Well, you said that you know posting the covers and playing, you just you just did something that you enjoyed doing. Yeah, exactly. Um, and and the crazy thing is, like when I first started, like I said, you know, I just started with karaoke tracks, and I'm just singing to those in front of the computer. And it, the cool thing is, over the years, it kind of shows the progression of like you know starting to learn the guitar and and um, you know just singing away from the computer and engaging more with the camera versus just kind of like what well, was was songwriting and performing originals was that always something that you had intended to do or no I mean that was something unexpected too and and you know I didn't plan past the the covers really and and then you know and then I I ended up meeting John Griffin and and uh, he found me on YouTube which is crazy and and um, told me about a competition through GAC mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't message him back um, but I should have at the time and, and entered into the competition and ended up placing top six and learned so much from that and that's when I picked up the guitar and and was thinking of who told me about that competition and found John's message and got in contact with him and so I was in Montana he was in Nashville and we started co-writing songs over Skype okay now you have actually um, we mentioned some of the, the competitions and things um, let's see your, your song, Bittersweet, was selected as one of Verizon mm -hmm. Wireless's best country songs of 2011. Yeah. Uh, you get, there's a ringtone for its Valentine's Day available there, all right? Um, you were um, 
Your original song, Stuck in a Country Love Song, featured on E's opening act, yeah. created Amer- created by American Idol producer Nigel uh, Lithka. Uh, linked to, you can link that to YouTube, right? Yep. Uh, you were also, in 2008, sixth place finalist you mentioned, in GAC's Great American Country G- G- Next GAC Star. Yep. All right? So um, all of that has pretty much just led you to say, you know what, John, all <laughs> these people think I'm talented. I've got all these views on, on YouTube and, and, and all these things. I'm going to come to Nashville, and I'm going to record an album. And so here we have we have this which is basically your your uh, your self-titled debut. Yeah, exactly. Okay? Yeah. Uh, so the, the single now, 17 and Young, uh, it's a co-write with you and John. Yep. Uh, tell us about this song. It's uh, it's always been my you know personal favorite of my originals, and uh, it actually was the very first song that, that we wrote together and the very first song that I was a writer on, like in general. So it's, it's really cool, uh, you know, knowing that was the first song I wrote and that it was... I guess good enough to be the single, you know, um, and it's it's very special to me. I mean, it's it's one of those songs that always takes me back to like high school times and and being in Montana and you know, there's all everybody's always been 17 and young at at some point, and so you have that person that you want to be with and and it works out, but then you know it kind of falls apart at some point, and you wonder why it didn't work out in the end, and you know you were just 17 and young, and that's kind of how it was supposed to go. All right, so tell you what, um, if you want to find out more about Tyler Barham. If you want to hear his, if you want to join the 35,000 people who are his fans online, if you want to be one of the more than 200,000 views, uh, you look for him on YouTube. Uh, you're on Facebook and everything? Yep, Facebook. Uh, I have, yeah, I have my own website at tylerbarham.com. And then, uh, yeah, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. By the way, that's Tyler Barham, B A R. H A M Barham spelled yep. just like it sounds. Tyler, uh, you got a great single, with Seventeen Young. Thank you. Obviously, by the stats, <laughs> uh, check out Tyler Barham. Okay, if you want to hear the song Seventeen Young, you make sure you call us at Kicks ninety six and you let us know and check out a live performance uh, of Tyler Barham here uh, on our website at Kicks ninety six Country Tyler, you make sure that you come and I visit. Absolutely, us, okay? yeah, that sounds good. We're gonna see you again soon. All right, definitely. And, Thank uh, you so you much. Tell for Justin me. Bieber I said hi, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna tell Justin you look out because Tyler Barham <laughs> is coming. He's coming for you. Oh, man. I'm M. Fletcher Brown. This is Tyler Barham. We'll see you next time on another artist video blog at kicks96country.com.